Hello and welcome to the Vine Life Podcast. I'm Tony Clark, your host, and I've got a special guest on the program today, and her name is Kelly Kantz. Now, Kelly is president and co-founder of Canyon Star TV. Canyon Star TV is a family-friendly television network, which was also co-founded by CEO Joey Canyon. Now, Joey is an award-winning country music singer and songwriter. This new network offers wholesome family programming that celebrates traditional country and Americana music, as well as a full spectrum of entertainment. It has classic TV shows from shopping, travel, sports, lifestyle, food, and history programs, all the way to live music performances. You can sign up for free just by going to canyonstar.tv. Again, canyonstar.tv. Uh, Kelly, thank you so much for being on the program. You bet. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. And again, I, I know your time is short, so I want to jump in. I want to I want to learn about what got you into what you're doing today, specifically with Canyon Star TV. But um, if you could just talk to me about what makes Canyon Star TV different from the many other entertainment networks that are out there today. Well, I think that part of the the wonderful thing about our network is that we are a family friendly network. Um, you're not going to have cuss words. You're not going to have sexual innuendos, nothing like that. So you could put a kid in front of our channel and they could watch it all day long and they're not going to have anything you ever have to worry about. Uh, we have some real life TV. We don't want to call it reality because it's not negative. It's positive. So most, all the programming is positive. It's positive, feel-good programming, and I think the country is lacking in feel-good programming. And so we've, what we've tried to do is compile a, a ton of different genres so there's something for everybody, and it's all feel-good programming. You can pick and choose what you like, whether it's cooking or sports or movies, uh, music videos. We added music videos as a genre recently because we realized – we have all these people we know who have music videos, but they have no outlet. So let's start adding music videos. You know, so we have just a wide variety of programming that um, if something will fit everybody. Well, it certainly does. I, I've had a chance to I've, actually I've got it on, on my phone here. I've downloaded the app, which is very easy to do. And I'm enjoying going through the different categories that you have. And I know that my wife and I, we love nostalgia TV, the old stuff from, yeah. um, you know, just personally, I love Lucy to Adam 12 to the Rockford Files and all of that stuff. And and you've got also like the Andy Griffith show and you've got many similar programs of classic TV on uh, Can You Star TV. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of new programming, but we feel like some of the old classic programming is, is still valuable. I mean, it really is good, wholesome programming most of the time. You know, like, I'm a huge Western girl. I love watching Western movies. So we found some Western movies. We put some Western movies on. And then we did some classic TV Westerns. You know, Wagon Train, The Lone Ranger, Annie Oakley, Fury, um, Gunsmoke, Bat Masterson, you know, some of those things. And then we did classic comic TV, some old things. Red Skeleton Show, Abbott and Costello, Lucy, Betty White, Petticoat Junction. We had the first season, I think, of Beverly Hillbillies, you know. It's in black and white. I think we have mm -hmm. one color one. But, you know, Bob Hope, Burns and Allen, a lot of the old stuff like that. And, you know, um, we got old Dick Tracy, uh, the old adventures of Superman. You know, we just put a lot of stuff on there. So we have a lot of old with the new. You know, we have a cartoon section for the kids. We've added Looney Tunes. So we have, you know, Daffy Duck. We have, we have a lot of those kind of things for kids. But, yeah, it's really great fun. You know, being able to find something that has you haven't seen for a long time and add it. And you guys are, again, you mentioned this, but you guys are adding stuff all the time, right? You're adding new programming, new categories, uh, new series. Yeah, we have over 700 shows. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of episodes. And every day we add something new. Every day. Like I have a new show coming on, um, a radio show called uh, Conversations with Kenny 
Graves. His first ep- three episodes came up today. Another one where country meets uh, adventure up in country with Sue Bonzel. So that's new. So yeah, every day I'm adding something new. And uh, whether it's a, a complete new program, there's always new episodes. And it's easy to see what's new this week because we have a section that, that tells you what's new this week um, to give you an idea of programs that you can, you know, maybe you might like some and, and might prefer others, but there's a big wide variety to choose from. Yeah, and I was, I was, I've also been investigating, if, if you're a country music fan, uh, this app, this network is certainly for you. Is that correct? Yeah, it really is. You know, Joey Canyon is a traditional country music singer um and he and i have known each other for many years i helped build a network called rfd tv and joey i put his show on rfd tv and we always stayed friends after i left there i went and built some other networks and then started my own company and uh he always wanted to do a network and i said when you're ready let me know i help you you know so uh he reached out and said let's do it so we did it and uh, it, pretty proud of what we put together, you know, here. Really, really proud. So, I, I'm curious, Kelly, what's your motivation for, and you, you touched on this a little bit previously, but what's your motivation for getting involved in um, Canyon Star TV? You mentioned that it, it's family programming. Um, talk about some of you, you, you just did that, but talk, go into more detail about some of your background, your experience in, in creating networks, if you would. Well, I mean, my first job working for a network was RFD TV, and uh, the owner, Patrick Gotch, and I, we were working out of the Livestock Exchange Building in Fort Worth, Texas, Uh, and we were doing programming off of Superior Livestock Auctions. They had the cattle auctions, and I think we had three or four shows, an ag show, a rodeo show, a polka show, but Chevy was our sponsor for those, and then it didn't work. And Patrick and I uh, went on, did our own thing, and I, I went and had a couple babies, and he kept trying to build the network and called me one day and said, I got this thing up and running. Can you move to Nashville? And I said, mm, I'm not going to move to Nashville. He said, come on, you got to go. So I went to Nashville, and, uh, you know, all these years later, it was one of those things where we didn't have much money when we started that network at all. Uh, we weren't on every cable outlet at all. And, uh, you know, I think there were five or six people when I first started and we built that thing, you know, it's over 90 million households now. And I, I had planned on being there forever, but that just didn't work out that way. And, uh, one of the board of directors from there, uh, offered me a job building some of his networks. So I worked on biz TV and YouTube America, biz talk radio. We created a couple of OTT platforms And uh, then one day I decided I didn't need to work for anybody else. I'll work for myself. And so that's what, you know, I've been doing for the last three years. And and Joey and I have been friends. And I think for me, um, I'm not ever afraid of anything. And if I don't know how to do it, then I don't feel stupid asking questions. I mean, you don't learn anything if you don't ask questions. And I was really excited about doing this because I've been doing it for other people. So it's kind of fun to do it for yourself and, and your partner. You know what I mean? For, for the person whose dream this is. So I feel really proud about, you know, it's been a lot of hard work. It has been. I've talked to so many great people. The programmers are just awesome. I mean, such great people. And, and I love that because I'm not really dealing with companies. Most of these shows are individuals who are independent that have, spent their own money or have sponsor money or advertising money to create their own programs the way they want them created. And I love that I can give people like that a platform to put the programming that that's their baby on, you know, because we, we want those kind of people. We want people who are hard workers, have great ideas, who are dreamers. You know, we're dreamers. I mean. Absolutely. And, and, and Kelly, uh, do you think, um, uh, folks starting up their programs, podcasts. I, I know in, in my instance, uh, it, it's it was basically because of COVID. Do you get other Do you get other stories of uh, maybe entrepreneurs, uh, people starting their online businesses, spe- specifically because COVID happened, and it was such a negative. But do you think that some positives came out of that experience as well? You're funny because I, I talk about that a lot. 
in interviews. And the reason I do is, though it was a terrible time for a lot of people, it made people who couldn't go to work, they had to figure out how am I going to make money, what am I going to do, and entrepreneurs popped up everywhere on, on video. And, and you know, something interesting right now with all these strikes going on, these people right here that are creating their own programming, they may get more opportunity because every because they're creative. They're in the can. And um, studios and networks don't have to spend their money to create programming. So, I mean, we're at a weird place in, in TV and in video, I, I feel like. I love that people have created podcasts. I mean, anybody can create a podcast in their own home. And that's what's so great about it. You know, anything, radio show, you can create it. People learn how to do stuff on their own without having to pay the middleman or something like that. So I agree with you about the COVID. It was good for TV. It was good for TV. Yeah, absolutely. And um, let's talk about the um, Canyon Star app. And just just folks that aren't familiar with apps on their phones or or downloading apps on their TV, and they want to watch the network, and they're intrigued by it. How would you, how, how, what's the step-by-step? -step? Give them just general steps of, of how to download uh, this Canyon Star app. Well, sure. I mean, I have an iPhone, so all you have to go to is is go to the settings area. Well, actually, it's not. It's the Apple Store. You go to the Apple Store, and you just search Canyon Star, .tv, Canyon Star TV, and it will pop up, and you just download it on your phone, and you can get it. And it's the same thing with Sam with Samsung, you know, uh, not Samsung, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the other one? <laughs> it's uh, Apple and uh, the other one. Yeah, a Galaxy or something like yeah, that, yeah. I, I, I'm a Mac. Android. Yeah, Android. So they can do the oh. same thing on Android. They just go to the store and do that. And on Roku, all they have to do is go in and search the network which is whenever you pull the Roku up, you can search the network Canyon Star TV and download it very easily on their TV and it'll be on their current list, you know, with Netflix and Hulu or whoever you have. And the same with Amazon Fire, same thing. You just search the network and once you put in, it's free and all they have to do is put in their email and a password and the emails we don't share, but the emails help us know where people are watching from. You know, what area of the country, because eventually that will help us. I mean, we're not, we don't have a ton of ads on here. We put ads at the top and the bottom. And then some of the network, some of the network shows, um, we allow them some ad time within their show because they have to be able to, to create some kind of a money for their pocket too. So we try to help people do that by allowing them to put some spots in if they need it. And um, so we're, it just helps us down the road. It'd be nice to be able to have people who are sponsoring each genre you know, in the network and things like that. So it helps us. So that's why we ask for an email address and a password. Yeah, absolutely. And and I, I did notice on this app, uh, Daystar TV, uh, I'm sorry, Daystar TV, Canyon Star TV app, uh, it's very easy to navigate and access. And I don't know if the camera will pick that up, yeah, but it, the categories are very easy to go down and, and click on. And, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's an easy interface. Let me put it that way. So it's, it's laid out very nicely. It, it really is. And, you know, it was interesting, um, Steve, who uh, has Gideo, which is who built this, was a friend. And I said, you know, we want to do a network. And we sat down and talked to him. We told him, you know, the things that were important to us on the way that it looks and it feels and it's user friendly and, you know, it, it was great being able to get it all up and it wasn't, it was live, but we weren't promoting it anywhere and being able to send it to people and say, okay, go in here and play. What don't you like? What do you like? Because we didn't want to stick it out there and then find out that something was not user friendly. And so we did that and uh, there was very little wrong with it. I mean, they really did a great job putting this together for us, you know, and I learned how to upload and technical things I, I didn't know how to do, really. And I've learned how to do all those things. And it's, you know, it's it's pretty great. I'm the one who makes them all live. So, you know, if, if they upload their shows, they just let me know they've uploaded them. And then I make them live. I make sure the cover picture's good. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm all hands-on right now, you know. And I think Joey is the same. He and I are all hands-on. Um, 
we're waiting to get more funding so we can create more original programming. We want to create, we have a long list of shows we want to create. So hoping that will come through soon enough. And, and, uh, I think we're going to be on Samsung TV pretty soon. We're going to be on some TVs too. Um, and we will com com continue to expand as we're able. Um, but we're proud of what we put together. It's a lot of programming, something for everybody. Um, so Y'all come check it out. <laughs> Ellie, do you have a vision for, for your new network? Uh, do you have a vision for it? Well, I think the vision really is to give people an outlet that is not like everything else. You know, family-friendly values, um, not having to worry about what you're going to see. I mean, these days, commercials on TV are outrageous, some of them. You know, and, uh, you know, maybe you're watching a good program, but a terrible commercial comes in, you know, and your kid says, hey, what's that? You know what I mean? And I think that we're just happy to provide something that's clean, that's family friendly. And I mean, that has been the joy of it is finding that programming, because a lot of the programmers, um, you know, are, even our faith uh, area, our genre with faith has grown crazy because there's a few uh, Christian networks but our faith programming isn't preaching programming. It's feel good about life programming, you know? And so, you know, I like that we can be in a position to provide that to people who maybe are looking for something different instead of watching the other stuff. There's nothing wrong with the other stuff. I mean, I'm a housewives girl. I love the housewives. I don't know why, but you know, not everybody likes that. And I don't like everything that's reality, uh, but I know it's not true. <laughs> but still, um, I think being able to give somebody the opportunity to not have to worry about what they're watching is a good thing. Absolutely. Now, um, folks that are listening or, or watching the, the interview video here, um, if they want to support what you do and they, 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 they look at your mission and they, they've heard your vision statement and they really want to support and they want to keep you going. They want to keep more entertainment um, in the genre that you're talking about, how can they support Canyon Star TV? Well, they can come on board and sign up and they can share it with their friends if they like it. That'd be really great. If anybody has music videos, documentaries, movies, program, podcasts, radio shows that they would like to add, they can reach out to me, Kelly Kantz at CanyonStar.tv. Send me a link to what you have if I think it fits our genres and goes in here. Um, I, I'd be happy to add them. Um, so, you know, anything like that. I mean, even for you, for instance, if you want to add yours, I'm happy to add it. So just let me know. Well, it's it's definitely an app worth downloading. It's definitely uh, a, a network that's worth supporting. And I, I know that um, I, I think most of my listeners will – I'd be glad to support it and download this app. Again, you can go to canyonstar.tv. And it, we're so used to .coms and .nets, but this is canyonstar.tv, or you can Google search it as well, and you can find it. And uh, Kelly, I, I can't thank you enough for, for coming on and, and telling what Canyon Star TV is all about. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to interview me and share it with your uh, viewers and listeners because – you know, it is nice to be able to create something that you believe in. You know, it really is. And so hopefully some of your people that are out there watching and listening will come on board and take a look and, you know, let us know your feedback on it. You know, Kelly Kantz at CanyonStar.tv. I'm happy to, you know, uh, give me, if you have any ideas, if you see something you think we can do better, let me know. I'm up for everything. Absolutely. But again, Kelly, I'm just going to ask you to hang on 30 seconds post interview. But again, I've interviewed interviewing Kelly Kantz today. She's president and co-founder of CanyonStar.tv. And I'll provide all of the links below the video as well. But Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. And until next time.